In a small village nestled between rolling hills, lived a weaver named Elara. She was known far and wide for her remarkable talent, creating exquisite tapestries that seemed to capture the very essence of life. Her tapestries were woven with vibrant threads that depicted scenes of beauty, love, and adventure. Alara's fame spread across the lands, and many travelers came to admire her work. Some were so enchanted by her tapestries that they offered her bags of gold and precious gems in exchange for her art. Yet, Elara always politely declined their offers. She believed that her work was not about wealth but about weaving the stories of life that touched people's hearts. One day, a wealthy merchant named Alaric arrived in the village. He had heard tales of Alara's extraordinary tapestries and came with the intent to purchase the most magnificent one he had heard about, a tapestry that was said to depict the ultimate source of happiness and fulfillment. Alaric's heart was filled with greed, and he was determined to possess the tapestry, no matter the cost. Alaric approached Alara's humble cottage and offered her a chest overflowing with sparkling jewels rare artifacts, and a considerable sum of gold. Elara welcomed him with a warm smile and invited him inside. As Alaric marveled at the various tapestries hanging on the walls, he couldn't help but fixate on the one he desired most. With a gracious nod, Elara began to tell him the story behind the tapestry. It was a tale of a young girl named Serafina, who embarked on a journey to seek the fountain of fulfillment. Throughout her adventures, Serafina encountered challenges, made friends, and learned profound life lessons. Eventually, she discovered that the fountain of fulfillment was not a physical place but a state of mind, a perspective of finding meaning and joy in every moment. Alaric listened intently, but his thoughts were consumed by the idea of possessing the tapestry rather than absorbing the lesson it held. When Elara finished her story, she turned to him and said, I cannot sell you this tapestry, for its value lies not in its physical form, but in the message it conveys. Alaric's face twisted with frustration. He was baffled by Elara's refusal to part with the tapestry. In a fit of anger, he lashed out, accusing her of selfishness and greed. With a heavy heart, Elara gazed at him and softly said, I am not driven by material possessions. My purpose is to weave stories that inspire and guide souls towards fulfillment. Feeling defeated, Alaric left Alara's cottage, the chest of jewels and gold clutched in his hands. As he journeyed back to his city, he couldn't shake off the feeling of emptiness that had lingered since his encounter with Elara. The more he thought about it, the clearer it became, his pursuit of possessions had left him hollow and unfulfilled. Back in the village, Elara continued to weave her tapestries, finding solace in her art and the wisdom it carried. She knew that the true source of fulfillment lay in seeking meaning, connection, and the appreciation of life's simple moments. Her tapestries told stories that reminded people of this eternal truth. Time passed, and news of Alarak's transformation spread. He returned to the village, this time not as a wealthy merchant driven by greed, but as a humble man seeking wisdom. He approached Elara, apologized for his past behavior, and thanked her for teaching him a valuable lesson. The two shared a warm smile. Bridging the gap between their worlds, one of art and one of commerce. And so, the weaver and the transformed merchant collaborated to create a tapestry that depicted the story of Serafina's journey in Alaric's own transformation. This tapestry became a symbol of the village's wisdom, a reminder that true fulfillment could never be possessed but only discovered through seeking. Meaning in every thread of life's tapestry. The villagers marveled at the masterpiece, understanding that the moral woven into the threads was far more valuable than any possession. From that day forward, 
The village prospered not through material wealth, but through the shared pursuit of wisdom, connection, and the fulfillment that comes from embracing life's true purpose.